Let's talk about Georgia, folks, where a black boy slapped his white female classmate because she called him the N-word. So, uh, the black student got suspended for smacking the white girl, while the white girl did not face any punishment for using the racial slur. Black students at the Henry County High School organized a rally supporting students facing racism. Parents say this is an ongoing problem at the school. Um, Monique, uh, how does the black kid get suspended, but the one with the, using the racial slur, she goes back to class? Just wrong. Just wrong. I'm, Say it again? The, 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 I said it's just wrong. They, they both should receive punishment. And both. when you say punishment, uh, do, you believe, do you believe that both should be suspended? I don't know what their regulations are for what, what calls for a suspension, what calls for detention, what calls for whatever. But according to whatever their policy is, it ought to include um, racial slurs and use of racist language, um, derogatory language against another student or against a teacher, and certainly um, assault is violating the school's policy. So there's no, you caused it, um, get out free for the slap. They both were wrong. Hmm. So one was God and one was white. That's right. That white girl used that N word, right? And then the brother did his best impression of Will Smith. He gets suspended. What happens to the little white girl? The little white girl go back to class. She's not even getting any coaching on racial sensitivity. I need to look up, is the N-word a fighting word under the Supreme Court definition? Because arguably, if it's a fighting word, and of course violence has no place, I'm not going to let the brother off the hook because he used physical violence, but I can tell you, if you use the N-word with me or probably anybody on this program right here, you're probably going to get a physical response, if not verbal, maybe both. And so both should have been suspended. One and her class and the school ought to go through racial sensitivity training. And um, I don't care how, the, how long the punishment is. It can be uneven, but both have to suffer some consequence. Uh, Jason, was this unfair to the black students for him to be suspended and a white girl allowed to go back to class? No, I think it was definitely unfair. Um, certainly, I, I think I echo what, what everybody else has said. She should have received some punishment. I'm not exactly sure what that punishment should be. Or, uh, you know, I, I really can't say whether she should have been suspended or detention, as Monique stated. I think she, she stated I it pretty well. Yeah. I'm sorry? I can. Uh, she should have been suspended. Yeah. Um, I bet she won't but, call anybody else the N-word for a while. Right. Uh, I, I definitely think that, <laughs> um, you know, you can't also uh, excuse, you know, hitting people. I think that's a, you know, even even when they upset you, you have to have a composure not to, not to lash out that way. But she certainly deserves some sort of punishment. But I think it's important also to see that the student activism was activated there. And I think that that's really important, that these students who have been suffering some sort of racist uh, incidents for a while now, that they are taking their destiny into their own hands and realizing their own power and organizing and getting together. It was good to see a couple of white students in there having their backs. I don't know if they were just observing or if they were a part of uh, the protest. Um, if so, it was good to see that these students were getting together and uh, demanding accountability from uh, the administrators. So I think that that, if there's one positive that can be taken from it, is that these students are active and are, uh, you know, no longer going to take uh, the kind of abuses that they've been taking for a while now. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punch!
I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. <laughs> Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this is the difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?